Hey everybody, my name is Kadema. Welcome back for another video of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We're about to continue this series. I uh, want to do an actual one hour uh, video for today, boys, for, just for you. Since uh, last uh, yesterday, I didn't do any videos, so I want to compensate for you and uh, basically uh, have fun, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We might get all the way to the cell games. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that, but uh, we'll see how it goes. One hour episode is a room for a lot, boys, but uh, I guess we'll have to see what we have to do next. I did win it up on my own free time and uh, leveled up Piccolo all the way to 49. And uh, Tien and uh, Krillin went up a little bit too. Uh, I went uh, to the basically the room, right? The uh, gravity room, and I trained a little bit, so. Let's go ahead and do the mission already. Over there. Close. What just happened? How dare you? I created you. Oh, there they are, boys. The androids. You ruined them. Listen to me. We must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. Do you hear that? It's an order. Oh, Seventeen. it's the Bay herself, boys. We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. Deezer. There's another one. You know what's a shame? The fact that they, sh they didn't show uh, 18 just kicking the hell out of uh, his head. And uh, basically uh, kicking his head off. That, they should have showed what that. What the world is going on in there? They're a little bit. The one thing I don't like about the cutscenes is there's some sort of stuff that they don't show. There's a lot of stuff that they don't show, but then they add up some stuff that are not necessary at all uh, for the game wise. So they choose certain stuff over others, and I don't know if that's a good thing or not, really. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Well, you gotta do your own work a little bit better, Trunks. Come on. Wait. So, so those are the androids that Dr. Giro was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but... Uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least, I haven't seen him in my time. So, what's going on here? Well, timeline has changed, my guy. Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giro? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Get going? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giro wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. <laughs> let's just go kill this Goku guy, I guess, right? Oh my god. Hey, 16. You were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. Yeah, once they're done killing Goku, they won't... See, that, that's all they are here for. They're just there to kill Goku specifically. They don't have to destroy cities. They don't have to do anything. They are not that evil, man. Trunks is making a huge deal out of it. And that's because the Z-Warriors basically pissed them off in his timeline. They don't have to do the same error or mistake here. They just can leave Goku to them. And after they're done, who cares, really? They're not going to do anything. I couldn't give a damn about that. Vegeta's mad, boys. All right, the big bang attack is a quick. Uh, it's actually now my um, better attack, my uh, most strong, uh, my strongest attack, I should say. I don't know what I was about to say there, but uh, wouldn't have sound right at all. Let's go to take care of these androids already. He was, they were right there, and they, they, were, they didn't go too far. All right, I'm here, bitches. To see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. 
We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. Vegeta being cocky is sure as hell as usual. Yourself, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate yeah, only he only wants to fight Goku, nobody else, until Cell arrives. That is, and then his whole uh, primary detective uh, directive or whatever wow. changes for some Got reason. Down. Fine, I'll do it then. Vegeta, are you all right? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and eight fight. So back off. Yeah, let this. Let's just do all uh, uh, be a thing, right? Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. Oh, that's fine by me. I don't need any. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. That's right. Makes no difference for me. Either way, if you're a woman or a man. I'm gonna go as hard as possible. Let's go. She's level 39. I'm gonna kick her ass. Okay, the game's lagging a little bit. Let the game. All right, let the game flow. All right, we're good. It's because of the mods and everything. It's on PC, so the game's always gonna have a hard time. All right, I think we're good. We're good. Let's start it up, boys. All right, you wanna you wanna do this? Fine. Just got a, good, a little bit of a Gallic gun. Let's try my new attack. Big Bang attack, bitch. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage, boys. You're dead. Holy shit. You're dead. Yeah, that... Okay, yeah, that was... It's kind of an OP at this point in time. Holy shit. It leveled up to... Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. What do you mean? I didn't held out. I kicked your ass. The Big Bang attack is like ridiculously strong. You woman. Now you've done it. Oh, I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Damn. Holy. Well, Vegeta. You just got humbled for the first time, I got. Well, for the second time. Or maybe the third time, I don't know. How many times did you get humbled in Dragon Ball, boys? Holy shit. Don't worry. There's still a lot. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. Yeah, if you want them to survive. So, should we get going? But, aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Oh, you can be such a child sometimes, 17. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. She needs to go shopping, my guy. Sure, why not? Just hey, wait, wait. Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first. We're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? No. Why would they do that? We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. Oh, here we go, boys. Oh my god. See ya. Oh, here we go, boys. Bye. Bye. Oh, she's my bae. Holy shit, I love it. I love it, team boys. I gotta help the others. And now that's that's the bay right there. I mean you can't tell me that's that's not hot. Holy shit. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. 
<laughs> Vegeta's mad. Just leave him He's done with this shit. Hasn't trained enough, apparently. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Chill out. We're we're going to win eventually. You always do. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you going to do, Piccolo? <laughs> oh, I don't know, boys. What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? He went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. Time to... One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? It's Kami's place. I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? It's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, They'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. Yeah, but Piccolo is not gonna be enough. It's but never wait, enough. If Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Yeah, they might as well fuse at that point. Piccolo the only the down like thing is... The fact that there's no Dragon Balls, really, once they fuse. So if they stay alive, there's still not going to be any Dragon Balls, but... What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it. Actually, he does know, but hey, no he's just not telling anyone. anyone. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. Things get hairy again. I'll be back. You need a better training partner than Chad. So I know he's your friend and all, but you gotta start thinking a little bit clearer, my guy. Chaozu is not a good training partner. He's trash. Can you not fight against someone that's not trash? Can't? Why can't you just train Roshi, force him to train with you, so he becomes stronger than you and all the other humans, and he helps out. A lot more, all right? Why don't you ask Roshi to help instead of fucking Chatsu who was garbage the, the first time, uh, since the first time we saw him. Gotcha. Come on now. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. I swear Tien, I don't like Tien, boys. I just, I don't like him. He just makes mistakes over and over again. Chooses to train with a garbage, uh, a garbage uh, fighter. And then the time's not to overdo it. also yeah, overlooks uh, launch, uh, which uh, leads her to be no completely erased from Dragon power. Ball history. I the hate this really man. This man just ah. is destroying my fucking dr uh, childhood. So I every time. So I don't, I don't like Tien boys. Um, all right, so we got a couple of my side quests that we can do. Uh, I f I know what this is. I'm not gonna show it to you guys. There's no purpose of you, me showing it to you. I, I will do it real quick though, but uh, just skip uh, forward to the main uh, mission. So uh, hold on just a second, to. boys. <laughs> no. All right, we're back at Goku's house. I went ahead and did some uh, training and also did the side quest, which was with Android uh, 8. It's That's cool, Goku's but house. doesn't really add anything to the story uh, itself, aside from maybe Trunks interactions, but uh, not really anything. So. Let's go ahead and go to Chi Gi's house really quick and see if Goku's alright. And also, uh, there's uh, one more thing. I was tempted to train. I don't. I learned a new move, right? But I, I was. I was tempted to train maybe at the Capsule Corporation place and on the Gravity Chamber with Trunks uh, because he's a uh, main character, but. I felt like uh, I really wanted to just do the main quest and the uh, rest. If I have time for it, if I have time to level him up, we'll do it, I guess. You're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. 
He took his medicine, and now he's sleeping. That's good. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast. Yeah, unfortunately, the androids are still around. What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku. Oh, no, that's not good. Looks like right. we're packing, boys. It's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is. Oh, go on, you're late. What's everyone doing here? Did did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giroux tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. Relax, 18. We can take our time with this. There's only one Goku after all. Be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, 17. I love how 18 is always super serious and the 17 is just place. like, I just want to have fun, dude. Hey, Let crew. me have fun for a bit, you know? should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Why don't uh, you do it? Yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Oh, man. What? That sounded kind of... You know, okay. I don't know. That sounded kind of... Rough? They, they went really quick with that dialogue <laughs> there. She's the same in my time, too. Yeah, I think Yamcha doesn't want to talk to her just because, you know, uh, basically Bulma? got uh, cheated on her one. for a while, for a uh, for one too many times, and uh, got cocked by Vegeta. I don't... Poor... I mean, Yamcha makes poor decisions, but he didn't deserve that. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Oh shit. Here you go, boys. Send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. It didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is Yeah. It's definitely the time machine I came here in. That's crazy, another time machine? But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsule. Well, that's some back to the future shit right there, boys. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes, I'd like to see it for myself. All right, on we go, boys. We can meet up near the machine's location. There you go. Let's go there already. You look for it too. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. You can go uh, come if you want. Go of on. Course. There's not going to be a problem. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mop. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Looks like we are on a free roam with uh, Trunks Trunk? and go yeah. on. Uh, go on is level 46, 44 trunks now. Oh, I trained up with, with him. He leveled up by two. Really Rushi's place is right there. Good. Uh, all right, so we got the enemies right here. Where they're still level 55. I'm still way on their level to fight them, so I'm not gonna even try to fight them. But there is. Okay, so this is where we're supposed to go. 
The training has been completed, boys. As you can see, Gohan is now uh, went up by two, and Trunks went up by two as well. The uh, gravity room really does help a lot, uh, training a lot, and uh, helps you level up. So that's pretty cool. Trunks is still falling behind my other characters, but I mean, in terms of story, Gohan and the others are pretty much t way too high up in level. But uh, it is what it is. That's why how I like it. They're not too high up so that they're completely one-shotted the enemy, one-shotting the enemies, but they are, I guess they, uh, they are uh, strong enough to not have any difficulty against the boss fights, which is fine by me. Hey, you're both here. So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. It's the same one. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? Ew, what is it? Yikes, an I'm, egg. I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is some sort of egg, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, it hatched, so something came out of it. It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Not exactly. Actually. It's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. That's crazy. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku... And the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this, it's possible. This thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. You know, here's one thing. We all know it's Cell, right? What's that? What's what? Oh, it's, it's just, I was wondering what that is. Um, here's what the thing is. Cell, right? <laughs> If he decided to come back earlier instead of that timeline, four years is fine because he basically calculated in his head that the androids would be there in four years and stuff like that so he can have them. But if he for just forgot about his perfect form completely and just thought about the fact that he, he's strong enough than any Z-Warriors in the, during the Saiyan Saga and all of this, he could have just uh, like absorb their energy and stuff and become a, li a lot stronger could have just defeated them really easily i don't know why he bothered uh having like a challenge and stuff i don't know boys but how did it end up in this time period either someone placed the egg in the time machine or they came here carrying it uh hey you guys got a bad feeling about this too right yeah then we better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? That's a giant ass esca exo skeleton, though. Man, Cell was huge. Holy. On? I'm so confused. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton, just as Kami had feared. A town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, 
filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. All right, we're back as Piccolo. We're about to merge with Kami, boys. You already know. Here's one of the thing I'm wondering: is why in the hell did Kami not train before? It's just like, it's just like Master Roshi. All these super powerful characters, right? And a, a supposed deity and stuff, and uh, for some reason it doesn't do anything. Like, what the fuck is Kami doing? He's supposed to. Like watch over Earth, right? He's supposed to protect Earth, but how is how is he gonna protect Earth if he's weak? Like, sure he was as uh, strong as Piccolo during, like, like during before the Saiyan Saga, he was fine. He didn't need to train, but when it came down to the Saiyan Saga, why did he start to train? I don't understand, boys. Why did he leave it to Goku to do everything? The Goku should be the guardian, for all we know. Because he's the one defeating and uh, uh, defending Earth every time. Not Kami, that's for sure. Oh boy, Kami is the worst at his job. I got, I'm going to tell you. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right, then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. For I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Mm. He doesn't want you to become another King Piccolo. It's fine, man. No worries about it. Piccolo is Gohan's dad after all. He's not going to do anything. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? All right, so Nantes, now is the time. Now he's just going to do a bunch of questions. So uh, Dragon Ball is not an issue. There we go. It was just a bunch of uh, questionnaire, so uh, questions. So there's no point in showing you that. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me. Call me. <laughs> Out of <laughs> Mr. Popo, man. Call me. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Well, here we go, boys. Let's do this shit. Time to fuse for a third time. Well, Piccolo. Now that is it right there. That's true power. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten. Look at him smiling. Piccolo smiling is kind of creepy, I'm going to tell you. All right, let's uh, get started on this mission, boys. Let's investigate the town, see what's going on right, with uh, this You're monster. I did went ahead and trained and also did a side quest that was right there as well. So uh, leveled up all the way to level 51 now. So uh, by one level, basically. So And we got two new moves, so we're good. There he is, boys. 
a monster? <laughs> What's going on? I can sense Goku's energy from this creature. And Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal. Demon King Piccolo. <laughs> How do you know my name? Well, everybody knows you by now. Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekia. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. That's right. I can just kick your ass without worrying about the uh, town's residents. The citizens. Level 51 versus a level 40. I don't even need to transform. I don't even need to transform, my guy. You're weak. Yeah, you're fucking weak. So as you can see, I just showed you right there. I've got the true Namekian uh, form. I don't even need to transform against this guy. Oh my god. I'm l like 11 l levels higher than you, buddy. You're nothing. I could probably beat you at your perfect form, my guy. You're nothing. Get the fuck out of here. You can't even touch me. and Frieza's energy. I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name, Cell. Dr. Giro created me in a lab on his computer. <laughs> Dr. Giro again? Long ago, Dr. Giro gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me. The ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow and it will take 24 years to complete. It's impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. How convenient. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to... Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There, my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Yeah, that's why I'm asking myself right here. Dr. Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve see? perfection. That doesn't matter, is it? It doesn't matter if you achieve perfection. You're level 40, right? You could have went back way back in time and basically get Kid Goku or something. I know it wouldn't be enough energy for any, uh, a lot of energy, but still you will kick everyone's ass. Why didn't you just do that instead of focusing on perfection? Now you're just getting your ass kicked. Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. 
It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. We'll see about that. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Not if I have a word to say about it. Here they come after all. Drunks. What's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash. Yeah, let's squash this bug already and get rid of it. Not waste any time here. Now may not be the best time to battle. Very well. But know this. Android 17 and 18 will be mine. No. Ah shit, my eyes. God damn it. On him. That's rough. What the? How the hell did he? Like, how did they, the hell did they all get away so quickly? One of the Shit's ridiculous. That showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it, but the other one still remains. What, what is the meaning of this? Piccolo. Ken's apparently on his way here too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? Cheat codes. Like That's how. Tani. That's all it took? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Vegeta. That's all it took. <laughs> what is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here. Good. Here's what's going on. All right, Tien. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we got everything. We got everything right. Form. We good. need to find him. We need to find Cell him. already. Or we need to find Android 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the android. Vegeta, can we not? Like, we're having this discussion again. Stop with this bullshit, Vegeta. I, I swear. Who I'm up against. I will destroy them. You won't do shit. Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves. And Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan. All right, whatever you say. Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh, why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. All right. Let's go, Trunks. Thanks. I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. All right, they just went ahead and skipped that this shit for some reason. Kind of wanted to see the interior of the lab, but they didn't want to create a new map, so that's fine, I guess. Right. Now, Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. Now, we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Android 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. 
I thought I'd do some training with my father. Ah, that's good, uh, good thinking right there. If he's Super Saiyan, then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with me. You may be right, but sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. Yeah, it's you gotta train with somebody else. It's a lot better. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck. Thanks. All right, splitting off, boys. First two, and then three days had passed. That's a lot of days now. Piccolo takes a long time others, to find him. Using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. South. That's crazy. Kill half of town, boys. Good oh, lord. Good luck. Oh boy. Sure is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? We do. Go on. Please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> All right, there he is. He's back in shape, Goku. boys. Finally, hey, about damn time, Goku. Feeling better? Yeah, I'm all better now. Oh, thank goodness! Sorry to worry you, Chi Chi. And you too, Master Roshi. No problem, Goku. Oh, we're just glad you're better. By the way. It looks like everyone left. Are they after that cell guy? Uh, yeah. But how did you know about him? I heard everyone talking while I was asleep. I think I got the gist of what's going on. Oh. I think I've got a train too. You're going to fight? Uh, what do you think? No way. You're in no shape to fight. You need more rest. I need to chill the fuck out, Chi Chi. First off. World's in danger. Goku is here. You know the gist of it. Alright. No I'm gonna have to train and reach even higher levels. Higher than even Super Saiyan. That's right. Uh, a level even higher than Super Saiyan? I mean it's Goku, he can do whatever he wants. I wanna take Gohan with me when I'm training. Is that okay with you? You're kidding, right? Oh, I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you if I say no. Not really. Fine. If you're going to train him, then make him strong. Oh, I will. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Chi Chi. But once the fight's over, it's straight back to his studies and nothing else, no matter what. Oh, boy. And you're going to get a job. Yeah, and you're going to make uh, go on weak, huh? All right. Time to go. Fuck, man. Well, we can't think about uh, weak go on for now. R right now, we just got to think about Cell. We approach Cell in this thing. We won't have to worry about him reading our power levels, don't you think? He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Hey guys, how's going? Yo, how did you get here? Was it that you mean how? Thing? Yeah. Yep. What else would it be? Then? Yeah. My God, these uh, kind of stupid idiots! What do you think I? Uh, how did you think I get? I got here. You don't have to combine our names. <laughs> That's funny. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that cell guy. But I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Yeah. Wait. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that. Been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. He was a child. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. They're all grown up now. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. 
Goku, let me ask you something. Sure. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Uh, yeah. Bo <laughs> How about both? <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. I mean, Goku is always going to be excited to uh, fight everyone. Anyone that's stronger than him. All right. Looks like we're going to go look for them. Um, with uh, Goku and Gohan, but uh, first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video right here, boys. It's a good length for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, leave a like as well if you did. I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Keep it easy.